Hi folks, this is Mrs. Hull with Caldwell Online Academy and I want to speak to you a little bit about registration and what that means for online learners. If you're a current Caldwell Online student, you still have to register for next year's classes through South Caldwell. That is true whether you want to be online again next year or you've decided to go back to the building to be an in-person learner. You still have to register for classes either way through South Caldwell. So how do you do that? Several steps. First, there's an optional in-person family registration info session in the theater at South Caldwell on Thursday, February 2nd at 630 that you're welcome to attend to learn more about registration and class choices. You need to watch the entire registration video series that will be posted daily on the South Caldwell Counseling website and emailed to your school email from between January 30th and February 3rd each day. Watch every single one of those little videos. Review the registration sheet and the course recommendations that will arrive in your school email on February 6th. Have a parent or guardian look that over with you. And finally, participate in your one-on-one -on -one counseling session with your counselor when they contact you to schedule this appointment. And it may be virtual or it may be in person, but that needs to take place between February 8th through February 22nd. So until you have done that with them, you are not confirmed as being registered. So make sure you complete that step. Well, what if you're interested in applying for the online academy for next year? And this is true whether you're already in the academy or whether you want to be, apply for the first time to be an online learner or return to online learning. So there's a high school info session on Tuesday, January 31st at the Caldwell County Schools Education Center between 5 and 6 p.m. It's a drop-in session for prospective families, and I'll be glad to meet with you there. You see the address at the bottom of the screen, 1914 Hickory Boulevard, Southwest Lenore. That's right across from the Civic Center. So the big Civic Center with the sign that lights up and all the auditorium theater stuff, It's the, the Education Center is directly across 321, so across the road from the Civic Center. All right. What if I don't want to come? What if I just want to apply? You can still do that. So here's how. But first, remember, you still register for your courses now at South Caldwell. How do you apply? The application window will run from February 1st through March 31st. A parent or guardian must submit the online application for you. Someone who has custody of you, the student can't submit for themselves. You'll have your acceptance reply by May 3rd. Where do I find the application? Go to cobbleschools.com, which is the main Cobble County Schools website. Look for Our Schools drop down menu. Scroll down just a little ways. You'll see Cobble Online Academy here in the list. This is a new school website that we'll have set up in time for registration. And you'll, when you land on our school website, the Cobble Online Academy site, you'll see our charger logo. We are the Cobble Online Chargers. Scroll down to the bottom of our main front page until you see the 23-24 school year application. And you'll see the dates that it's open, February 1st through March 31st. You can click there to read the admission requirements. Um, the quick version of what you need to know, you need to have be passing all of your core academic classes, have good attendance, good discipline in order to be accepted. And then the application itself is right here and it will go live on February 1st. A couple of questions for, that I get about online learning and high, and high school. First, can I take college classes as part of Caldwell Online? Yes, you can. You're still eligible, uh, just like you are at any of the other high schools, to participate with CCP classes as long as you meet the college criteria. Can I still play South Caldwell Sports if I'm an online learner? Yes, as long as you meet the athletic team requirements. Um, there's nothing about being an online learner that would keep you from being a sports participant. You can still do that. Can I have a split schedule where I'm partially online and partially in the building? The answer on that one is possibly. Um, that would be a conversation we would have to have, and both Mr. Bliss and myself, we would have to approve that, and it would have to work with what you need. So that one is a possibly. It's, it's not a definite. Uh, but anyway, that's where that one stands. So finally, application deadline, March 31st. Questions? Come to the info session on January 31st. Meet with me, check out the Online Academy website, or contact me and you see ju hall at cobbleschools.com. Thanks.